Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. Yep. Hi, Leon. What do you want to show me? Look at that. Yes. Oh. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... for that... and that. Hmm. Lovely. Yes, that's some weird creatures. We'll handle them. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. <laughs> nice. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. And those Organization 13 guys in charge, too. You called? Wait, what? That's Sid? You're doing well. Oh. Who's that? This Ensign? calls for a celebration. Ensign. Okay. Um, what is that? Drive? You can do drive yet? Oh, I can. It looks like I can, right? Ah, maybe I don't need to. All right, maybe I will. I guess not. Why can't I do that? Do I have to wait till three, level three to drive? Okay, get that quick back. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I don't know what that was. That was weird. Let me see what shows up again. Under attack. Oh, I saw something different. So. Yeah, I was under command. It's over. Oh, look at that. Nice, Leon. Wait, see? Oh, well, that was reversal. I know that one already. Why can't I do the drive? What am I missing here? Very strange, eh? I guess I don't need to, but I need to figure out how to do that drive again. The Keyblade. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. What's the big idea? Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? 
I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. But we are gonna make you move! See, that would work. If I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh, dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Hmm. Gee, I just don't know. Again, awkward stare. Awkward. Be a good boy now. Wait! What? He got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Huh? Wow! Huh? What's this? Gorge, you think? Get it? That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh boy! Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. All right. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? Me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go.
Okay. Hey! What oh. happened to Twilight Town? It's gone! Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, let me land here again first. Save it, and then head out on a journey. Talk to Merlin first, too. Okay, that's fine. Now well, let's check out the journal. There is a heck of a lot, it looks like, huh? <laughs> Well, okay, here we go. Um, a young woman whose quiet eyes... Bell Wait. What? A young woman whose quiet eyes... Belly, 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 and unbreakable will. Okay, belly. Interesting. I know, I, I know it now. Okay, whatever. Like Leon, she met Sora while living away from her hometown and helped him now and then on his journey. Now Aerith works with Leon and Yuffie to restore the town to its past splendor. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that was right. Sid, an engineer, tech wizard, and first-rate pilot. He met Sora as a castaway while he was running a shop away from his hometown. Now that he's back home, Sid is an active member of the town's restoration committee. Merlin, a powerful wizard who's currently living in the Hollow Bastion. He's letting the Hollow Bastion restoration committee use his house as a meeting place. Merlin has wisdom and magical powers that are second to none, and he taught Donald most of what he knows about magic. He also has a mysterious bag that can hold anything, no matter how big it is. I'll have to figure that one out. Yuffie, a member of the town's restoration committee, a spirited girl who actively does her part to keep tabs on the town. Yuffie met Sora when she was living away from her hometown. Thanks to his help last time, the Heartless were ousted and she got to go home, or come home. So she's very grateful to him. Leon, a swordsman who carries a gunblade. His real name is Squall Leonhart. He took the name Leon to distance himself from his past self. The man who stood helpless as Heartless invaded his home. Gotcha. For some time, he took refuge in a different town, but thanks in part to Sora's help, Leon was able to reclaim this, his hometown. Now he works tirelessly toward his, his resurrection. I think you all know Goofy. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got that. Okay. And Donald. Yeah. Sora. Chosen hero of the Keyblade. He's looking for his friend Riku so they can return to their island home together. Not long ago. Da, 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 da. Okay. Got that. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> Alright, here we go. Scrooge McDuck. And now, this is, this is something new that's different from um, Kingdom Hearts 1. So this is, you can see, 1967. Donald, Donald's uncle. Before the Heartless appeared, he was using the gummy ship to travel across the world, setting up a big business empire. Scrooge has more money than most folks can count. But for some reason, he's pretty stingy about spending it. Nowadays, Scrooge is working on an ice cream venture. He hopes we'll make a million. Yay! Alrighty. Story. Oh, gosh. Once again, we came to Hollow Bastion. Things were different, but peace remains as far off as ever. While wandering through a town still plagued by Heartless, we were reunited with Yuffie. Welcome to the Hallow Bastion Restoration Committee. We were led to Merlin's house and found Leanne and all our old friends there. Apparently, they had all only recently remembered us. We agreed to help rebuild the town, but some big obstacles remained. In Villain's Vale, the Heartless were swarming as nobody's darted about. Thor was ready to take the entire horde on, but then Organization 13 appeared, making Thor with puzzling words, or mocking Thor with puzzling words. But with no time to reflect on this, the Keyblade shone, opening the way to another world. Remembering Yen Sid's words, we set off once again. Phew. Album? That's cool. 
That's sort of cool. All right, cool. Treasures. Whoa, what in the heck? Can I click on it? Oh, these are just... Oh, okay, I gotcha. Well, okay, fine. Weird. Pieces. Oh. Okay. Maps. We got the maps. Fine. And... Well, might as well get these guys down. Our right, Steamboat Willie. Oh, really? 1928 as well. Hmm. A tough and mean former Steamboat Captain. Donald and Goofy know Pete real well. He's so bad that King Mickey was forced to banish him to another dimension. Maleficent found Pete there and helped him escape from exile. Since then, he's been traveling the worlds, assembling an army of heartless for, Mal for Maleficent. It's pretty certain that the two of them are planning to take over and rule all the worlds. I see. Maleficent. Grr. A sorceress of frightening power. In the last adventure, she controlled the heartless and led a group that was trying to harness the power of darkness. As part of her villainous plan, Maleficent tricked Riku into making the choice to dive into the realm of darkness. In the end, Maleficent, Maleficent yielded to the power of darkness herself and was defeated by Sora and his friends. But by using her last bit of evil power, she was able to come back again sometime later. Sure. sure. Sounds like, um, what is that, Jason? <laughs> the Halloween movies or whatever? Friday the 13th, whatever it is. Sorry. Uh... With a new outfit and strength and resolve, Sora has set out once more in search of his friend Riku. I, I, it's a sort of a cool outfit, you know what I'm saying. Organization 13's number 9. Organization members all wear black coats, and it said that it said it said their numbers were assigned in the order they joined. In addition, their names shared something as a mark of their brotherhood. Alright, so that's 9. N. The organization has hinted not only that they know about the Keyblade, but they may know things about Sora himself. Are they planning mind games or playing mind games, or is there truth or their words? Number two. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just thinking of Austin Powers. Organizations 13 is number two. Nothing else about him has come to light. He vanished, leaving Sora with, n with naught but puzzling words. Apparently, organization members can use the darkness to come and go as they please. <laughs> uh, oh, number one. All right, Organization 13 is number one. He directs the group as its leader. Organization 13 is a unique presence among the nobodies. They think and plan and seem to have a greater goal. What that is remains to be seen, but they appear to know a bit about the Keyblade. Number three. Nobodies like him are made whenever people strong of heart are and mind become heartless. The empty shell they leave behind acts of its own will. Are they empty vessels devoid of hearts? Are they roaming spirits? Or are they simply nothing at all? Alright, my guess is this one's going to be number 8. Ooh, number 7. That was really close, actually. Nobody's like him may look like they Nobody's like him may look like they respond emotionally, but this is, in fact, a ruse. Nobody's have no hearts. Okay, that was very exciting. Okay. <laughs> well, might as well check this out. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, not sorry. I still haven't... Why do I have to go to Sora still? Fine, okay. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Truly the key to everything. The magic of Merryweather and her fairy friends had, has prepared new clothes for Sora. These garments appear to come complete with various abilities, such as the power of transformation. With renewed resolve, Sora sets out for adventures once more. All right, meet these ladies. From Sleeping Beauty 1959, a spirited fairy dressed in blue. Merryweather can sometimes be a bit stubborn. Together with Fauna and Flora, she tries to stop Maleficent from harming others. Merryweather helps Sora prepare for his journey with just the right traveling clothes. Fauna, a sweet and gentle fairy. Fauna dress, dresses in green, always eager to please. She's on, she only uses magic to help others. Want to help Sora prepare for his journey with just the right driving clothes. Okay. Red. Flora, a kind and good fairy. Flora is always dressed in red. The leader of the group. She helps Fauna and Meriwether make the right decisions. And got some traveling clothes. Yen Sid. He's Sorcerer's Apprentice. 1940. All right. 1940. So, a powerful sorcerer. Second to none. He tutored the king in magic. So maybe he's not a bad guy. 
I'm conjuring up the skies full of beauty, beautiful butterflies, to parting an ocean. Dang. Yen Sid's feats of wizardry are well amazing. His name alone fills some folks with awe. Aww. Dang. Yen Sid shared some of his wisdom with Sora and his friends. He also taught them some valuable techniques to help prepare them for what they'll face on the, this new quest. Alright, cool. Alright, so there's a lot to this story. So, it just basically is summarizing what we have done. You know what I mean? What we've experienced. See what I'm saying? I'm not going to read it all. Okay. Got it. Okay, report number seven. Well, beings born of darkness and those lacking hearts may find them convenient. It is dangerous for others to make much use of the corridors of darkness. Darkness erodes the heart. In search of a place to proceed with my research and planning away from prying eyes, I found myself in Twilight Town. It is a quiet village forgotten in the chasm between light and darkness. I situated myself in the basement of an abandoned mansion standing beyond the woods. My underground research resulted in one new discovery after another. When a heartless is born, the body and soul left behind are reborn into this world as a different being. They possess different intentions than their heartless brethren. And while it is unclear what these, sen what these sentient things are after, it would appear they were, are responsible for much bedlam in the world. My erstwhile friend, the king, and his subjects, along with the hero wielding the keyblade, are battling the heartless even as a new threat approaches. This new threat, they have given themselves a fitting name, I suppose. These non-being beings, nobodies. A great number of nobodies have lost human form and have the heartless. Yet the nobody... Born of someone with a strong heart retains its shape with but the faintest visible changes. It appears my betrayers have retained their human forms as nobodies and are gathering more followers in hopes of furthering a new scheme. Organization 13, formed of 13 nobodies, with my betrayers at its core, has divided into two. They are said to be carrying out some sort of research. Seeking to uncover the plans of this organization, I've decided to head for where six of its members have gathered. Powering over the outer limits of the realm between darkness and light. Light. Castle Oblivion. Gotcha. Alright. Character files. I think I got them all. Heartless. Soldier. Okay, we, we've read these. We've read about these in, in New Hearts 1, so not going to worry about that. Nobodies. Ooh, Samurai. Wait, what? I don't remember seeing this. I slain six of them, but I... Okay. A samurai high-ranking nobody using swords as their sheaths and weapons. It can handle up to four weapons at a time. It attacks with calmness and efficiency. Make sure not to lose sight of it once it hides beneath the ground. So those are those guys. Okay, gotcha. After preparing its attack, it sits and waits, giving the opportunity to use reaction code. Fight one-on-one -on -one while the others sit back and watch. All right. Puzzle pieces. Wait. What? Collect all the pieces and solve the puzzle. Search carefully for puzzle pieces scattered throughout the world. If you find a piece you can't reach, come back later when Sora has developed new powers. Building the puzzle. Place the pieces correctly to complete the puzzle. Move the cursor, grab, plate, cancel. Some puzzles require you to rotate pieces. Once a puzzle is completed, you might obtain a reward. Good luck. Dang. Huh. Okay, so let's see. Grab a piece. Move it. Place it, right? Okay. Grab a piece. Place it. Oh, ah, sorry. Grab a piece. Place it. There you go. Alright, I'm getting there. Alright, alright. I got that. Okay, that was a lot. All right, good place to save, good place to stop for now. Wow. 
We will definitely chat later. Alright. Alright. Out. See you. Bye.